there's this whole play really takes place in a split second, you know, like one moment in this boy's uh, journey that is life altering, right? It, it's absolutely going to change the course of their, their lives moving forward. But really, in the less than 90 minutes of the experience, it really is this, this, this sort of splintered moment, you know, a fever dream, if you, if you will, of this, of this boy navigating uh, the push and pull of what to uh, whether to succumb, to challenge, to fight, to wither within all of the things that are happening to them at this moment. Well, it's so rich. It's it's almost overwhelming. This sort of stew of classical text, ancient Chinese poetry, uh, in, informal language. All, it's all thrown together in these different wor worlds with formality, informality, and you're shifting through those modes all inside of one character, receiving it from other characters, and then using those different kinds of languages, language to have different kinds of power. Each of them has their own strengths. And it's, uh, it's sort of like this crazy arsenal of language that we get to deploy on each other. It's quite incredible. This piece is very physically demanding. And jumping right into the first week, we were already climbing on the set and running around and really engaging with our bodies a way that I haven't done that in the past. So I feel like right off the bat, I'm being challenged um, both creatively, physically, and all of that. I find that it's a nice mix of not just focusing on acting, but taking that movement and how you can portray how you're feeling, that internal dialogue, and portray that without using your words. Although this play, it, it deals with trauma and it talks about trauma, but, but, but none of the characters uh, live in that moment of trauma. We're always pulling away from what that trauma is doing to us in this current moment. And, and I think in the play, you'll discover how these different characters use different ways of like coping mechanisms to, to help them get through this moment of trauma, uh, which I think in turn invites in the comedy and invites in the language and invites in storytelling. And I think Mike has like been very generous in allowing us to play and find what that physical language for ourselves is. And, and Hannah is so meticulous with, with how our, our physical language shifts the story and as well as uh, the navigation around trauma. Anybody who's in that moment of, again, darkness or questioning, there's, there's still the pursuit to want to, again, survive, to live, to move past that. Nobody re wants to stay in that. And so this question of like whether to fight or to flight, it is a really fundamental one of, of, of this piece. But yeah, comedy. Comedy is really, really important to help guide so that it's not just a, a constant heaviness. We know that that is there, but again, it's how we move past that or how we move through that. That is uh, far more dramatic and, and I think interesting, I think as a, a adventure for an audience member. <laughs>